Kotel says presidential ambitions are well documented. Uzufri, food and agriculture minister, says and so on, the will be the president. So it is no wonder that the conversation has turned to his presidential ambition after he announced he was quitting his role as a minister in charge of agriculture. For six years, Dr. Efri Akoto was the main man in charge of our Greek space, overseeing the Greek ministry while constantly fighting critics over key policies such as the planting for food and jobs. Anybody who goes outside the crowd into the country will bear witness to me that the food security in this country has strengthened some substantially. If you go to the north, you're going to meet a lot of trucks with foreign number plates from Nigeria, from Burkina Faso, from Niger, from Mali, picking grains from our farmers, from our markets in Ghana. This was exactly the reverse before we came. We were importing food from around the neighboring countries into this country. Now he is in all likelihood to throw in his heart to become the NPP's presidential candidate. Dr. Fri Akoto's intention of leading the NPP into the 2024 general elections are well and long known. He has been central to Akufado's inner circle and been shielded from constant criticism. Well, everybody is asking for anybody, but that is not the point. Have you decided? The, per the, person, mm -hmm. the person who appoints me is the one who can sack me. If somebody asked uh, for me to be sacked, he's not a person, who, he's not an appointing authority. The 74-year-old Cambridge-trained agricultural economist is a two-term member of parliament for the Kwadaso constituency. He has survived several onslaughts, uh, especially during the implementation of the ministry's flagship program, synonymous with Dr. Efri Akoto himself, which is the planting for food and jobs, and most recently, the PFJ market. His most memorable moments as minister have been during the periods where he claimed that food was in abundance. Anybody who goes outside the crowd into the country will bear witness to me that the food security in this country has strengthened some substantially. Whenever the market has dispelled his theory on food prices, he has often come with the explanation that this is simply the traders seeking to profiteer. The price that the final, the final consumer pays in Accra does not reflect all the costs if you put it all together. It's more than. So somebody is making a, a buck, making a, a, a supernormal profit. And of course, with inflation, that, that's what in economics we call inflationary expectation. People price things in expectation that the price will go up. And it happens all the time. So that, that's where the profiteering uh, comes in. Now. He hopes to benefit from the good work he claims to have done at the Agric Ministry. If he wins to lead the NPP, he will go into the 2024 general elections at age 75, and a successful presidential bid will have him go into the annals as the oldest person to be voted for as President of the Republic. But even way before that, he has a Herculean task to impress the newly introduced college by the party to trim down candidates to three before they are presented to the bigger electoral college of delegates. Speaking to a champion. 